The difference in our chain link and most chain link, we use a two and a half inch terminal corner and gate post. Most guys are using a two inch. We use, there's actually no line post on this job, but we're using a two inch line post. Most guys are using inch and five eighths line post. We use an inch and five eighths top rail and set up it for the line post. And uh, most guys are using inch and three eighths. Our gates are welded out of inch and five eighths where most guys are using inch and three eighths. The other big thing is, now, that's that's the diameter we just talked about. Now let's talk about the wall thickness of the actual post and framework. There's three wall thicknesses used in fencing. There's schedule 40, which we consider heavy commercial industrial. There's schedule 20, which I consider as commercial and heavy residential. Then there's residential tube. That is the same thing you can purchase from Home Depot, Menards, any big box store. And, and it, it's it's thinner, it's the, it's the thickness of the wall, okay? The best way I can describe it is when we pound these posts in, if I pound a schedule 40 into the ground, sticking out of the ground like that is there, and me and my biggest friend try to bend that post, we're gonna have a really, really hard time bending it and probably not bending it, okay? If I pound my schedule 20 in there, and uh, um, me and my biggest friend try to bend that post, we might be able to get a little bit of bend on it, but we're gonna work pretty hard. If you use this residential tube, I can bend it by myself. And then finally, the last thing about this fence is we use eight gauge vinyl coated chain link, not nine gauge vinyl coated chain link. The smaller the number, the thicker the fabric. In prisons, they use six gauge, just so you have something to compare it to. That's pretty much everything. We give you a 15 year warranty on both labor and materials on our chain link.